Well, today, though, was a little bit of paradise around here. Very That's nice. Great. We're in the midst of a decent weekend, but the less half of it, I guess, is coming on, right? Sunday's going to be right. worse, Pamela. That's good. Yeah, Sunday, it's not going to be too, too bad, but it's not going to be like what we had today, which was absolutely perfect. High temperatures in the 70s, lots of sunshine, low humidity. Can't ask for anything better here in New England for late spring. Showers, clouds return for your Sunday forecast and cooler temperatures with highs in the 60s. It's going to be a gorgeous week, though, once we get the showers out of here for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even towards the second half of the work week, looking dry, not a lot of rain, except Friday. Then a cold front approaches the area once again, just in time for the next weekend. So here's the calendar for May. We've been running above normal since we've started the month, 15 degrees above where we should be for this month so far. Still plenty to go with the day here, of course, but today we added another red square, and the next several days we may stay above average as high temperatures should be above the average high of 63 degrees at least. It, the big question is the morning lows because we do have some chilly nights in the seven-day forecast that could bump down the average temp for the day. Today's high in Boston, 76. The average is 63 degrees, and in all spots we were running warmer than normal. 70 in Falmouth, even 70 in Chatham, 66 degrees on Nantes. Tuckett and 74 degrees in Fitchburg. Temperatures now have cooled a few degrees. We're still holding with 70 in Boston, 65 Taunton, down to 63 degrees in Keene, but rather comfortable for this evening. Overnight lows in the 50s and a very light southwest breeze will keep temperatures fairly steady, especially as we get into tomorrow. Temperatures not much of a change since the clouds will be in play and that wind starts to take a turn coming more onshore. Cooler on the coast, especially across the Outer Cape and Islands, upper 50s for those highs, maybe low. 60s inland mid to upper 60s and here's a satellite radar image with the changes moving in the clouds spreading from south to north just starting to move into southern new hampshire at this time area of low pressure to our south that's going to move off the coast there's also an approaching cold front to our north and west in between high pressure that's why we had a beautiful day today but these two air masses are going to collide here bringing the rain chance so hour by hour overnight most of us dry dry air in place at the surface it's going to take a while for these showers to really actually make it to the ground. But by 8 o'clock, forecast models do have higher dew point temperatures, which indicate higher humidity levels, therefore some of that rain making it to the ground. Spot shower across Boston for the afternoon. Otherwise, mostly dry, just very cloudy. Mix of gray skies and some rain across the area. Some showers to the north and west of us, and then we split it here. More rain to the south and east. It's going to be a drizzly rainy day across the south coast Cape and Islands. Might even hear a rumble of thunder with a brief period of some heavy rain between 5 p.m. and 11 p.m. moving into the Boston area. Rain forecast, not too bad across central or eastern parts of Massachusetts, but it's as you get towards the south and east, that's where you have over half an inch of rain. Some models also spitting out up to an inch of rain accumulation across Cape Cod. That's dependent upon who gets the heaviest rain shower. The patio is open at City Hall Plaza. I saw some pictures from this weekend. It looks fantastic. Well, Sunday, there's a chance for a couple showers. 63 degrees for the temperature. Quite comfortable. The humidity will go up since our temperature will be lower for Sunday. After we get the rain out of here Monday morning, starting off with fog, then brighter in the afternoon, and we have a steady warm-up, low 70s Wednesday into Thursday, keeping it dry until Friday. Back to you. All right, Pamela, thanks.